Hello, viewers. So, Sonic unleashed anyone? Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Okay, okay, I know what most of you guys be thinking. Sonic unleashed. Where is this coming from? Sonic unleashed sucks. Sonic Heroes is better. I don't know what to say. Sonic unleashed is game. Okay, but for real, how do I start this video? Oftentimes, I ask myself before I take a sip of my cold brew of mystery Sonic flavored G Fuel. Not sponsored, by the way. Uh, but Sonic unleashed? Then it hit me out of nowhere. Remember when I did Sonic? Sonic 06 history and development? Yeah, that was a lot of research and time, so let's do that again. Isn't like I'm gonna be uploading in the next few months anyways. So, yeah, let's do this. First, I shall get the main stuff out of the way. So, Sonic Unleashed released in November 2008. And yes, this game is about 15 years old. Bruh, where'd the time go? Please tell me where it go. Uh, it released on all major consoles like the PS2, the Wii, and the PS3, and Xbox 360. On the phone. Which I gotta say, the PS2 and Wii versions are very similar. Just, they are five pixels in glorious, glorious PS3 and Xbox 360 versions. Ugh. So good. Well, the Xbox looks a little better. At least it doesn't look like I'm flipping through a flip book. Well, you might be thinking, how is the story of Sonic Unleashed? Well, it kind of mid. Okay, now I can say this is the best joke of the year. For real, the gameplay is fine, except... Oh god, Sonic, why? Why they turn you into this? This... This thing, he is no longer hot. What do you mean by that? Okay, for real, Sonic gets turned into a werehog from the Chaos Emeralds and Gaia or something. Makes the Earth go breaky. But no worries, Sonic is here to help a demented little, uh, what is this? Some sort of tiny hedgehog? And that, my friends, is called a joke. I don't even know what Chip is. With the help of his new friend Chip, we must go around the world and help places. So the game has night and day stages. Day stages has you boosting and flipping and do sick tricks like bada beep bada boop. That will indeed make you be feeling good. On the other hand, you have this just slow paced speed em up gameplay. It isn't bad all the time, though. Sometimes maybe. Anyways, time to get into the early and cut content from Sonic Unleashed. So I am dubbing this part the unreleased of Sonic Unleashed. So first we're gonna start start off with the changes of stuff that was revised. Okay, so the first one has to do with the FMV intro of the game. You know, Sonic gets zapped and makes a meme-worthy face. Well, the face that is the meme doesn't appear in the final. As you can see here, it is pre-release, and here is the final version of the game. Now here is the title screen. Compared to the final, the beta one has the logo like Tails' machine. So yeah, I kind of like it, but sadly it never got used. And we got the same kind of screen except with just a round out press start prompt. Also, the PS2 and Wii got the blandest title screen of all. Just PNGs of the Werehog and Sonic. Anyways, Werehog HUD was certainly different from the final game. It has health and vitality bars there. Very simplistic in design. Meanwhile, in the final game, you have the shield looking things and an unleash bar and a life bar. Speaking of the Werehog, there was hints officially having a day and night cycle, again for a second time in a row. If you no, Sonic 06 had one <laughs> and it got cut early on but it seemed like it was cut and swapped out with the hourglasses you can interact with here's the ui intended for it as you can see it has a scale and it shifts to one side depending on the time of day it was neat concept also here is the description of it in an early manual it even says you can advance time to the pause menu wait until day or night it has the same little scale to tell the time okay so the one-up capsule it apparently uses the wii one-up capsule and also the shield makes an appearance and it is the same model used from Sonic 06. Also the accelerator, which yes, I think that is what it's called, had a red outline around it in the E3 build and the final has the normal green outline. Now it is time for some early level design or geometry. First is Apatos Day Stage. I don't know the difference here. It still looks the same in the final, but I'm sure there might be minor differences, but you can see some pop-in if you look closely. But the next one is Missouri. M Missouri? Missouri? <laughs> it was gonna have more sand-like turns, but in the final, you can see it was changed, of course, or at least what I've good found. Here is the prototype footage of it, and as you can see, it does look very different from the final game. There's also unused menu loading screens, which have the controls listed on screen, intended to be seen before the levels, respectively. Here is the Werehog one, and here's also the normal day stages one. And to compare them to the Japanese version, it has the left bumper instead of the trigger to dash as the Werehog, which is very weird. Also, the render of the Werehog is looking a bit... 
how should I say, not too good. It is such an ugly early render, but the Sonic loading screen used the render of the Secret Ring Sonic, most likely used as a placeholder. But here's a look at some kind of menu. Looks like there was a compass feature too. Not too certain though. Could just be used for the menu, but since the game is about going around the world, it couldn't be too far off. But some early designs of more of the HUD, and yes, that does say Enagi, where energy is supposed to be. <laughs> Maybe the energy is angry? Imagine that. This is what the install animation was supposed to look like when I suppose you're installing the game either on a PS3 or an Xbox 360. The Red Dog folder is contained on the disc of the game, and it is various images of debugging stuff used in order to debug the game. Basically development tools, but there is this strange hand cursor. It looks like a hand with a very bloody stump and a bone sticking out of it which is very strange and creepy also sorry if the image is very blurry it is a super small image now to quickly end this off i'll go over some of the unused areas well they go unused for a while then sonic team fix them up and repackage them as dlc so yay thanks sonic team anyways in jungle joyride act one night if you quickly glitch through this door and head through past the waterfall you can make it to the unused area which has a palm tree and look you can knock it over wow that's so cool okay now next up we have area sands act one night in this level there's a hidden section you can reach by glitching your way in of course but it has these pillars and they can be destroyed and you can make your way up to these canyons and temple like rooms and even this door but it leads to nowhere apparently this was reused as a dlc level but still all right now empire city night this level also has a hidden goal just hidden tucked behind this building so yeah you have to be an epic gamer to make it back there <laughs> one last thing i guess i can cover real quick sonic unleashed on wii has a one-up capsule using the sonic 06 graphic i mean it is literally the same meanwhile the ps3 and xbox 360 use the face with a golden trim so yeah i think that pretty much covers it. <laughs> everything unused and unreleased from sonic unleashed see you later bye put up memes flash memes everywhere results victory screen all right yeah see you later see y'all next time Bye bye